Hello and welcome to today's movie review and today I finally got to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is of course Quentin Tarantino's quote unquote ninth film and it stars uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. Um, I'm still at a loss for words. Um, at this film uh, like I knew a while ago that it was based on the Manson murders kind of sort of at well kind of sort of like Inglorious Bastards dealt with real life things in uh, World War two so it's kind of um, an imagination kind of thing deviation what could have happened what might have happened if this and this and this had happened so with that being said it took an hour into the film for my wife to turn to me and go, what is this movie even about? Like, it was slow going, and while DiCaprio and Robbie and Pitt put in amazing performances, it just felt like it lacked substance, and it dragged on, and it was just too long. This film's been out for a couple weeks now, and if you haven't seen it yet, wait if you want to see it at all. Wait for it to be in your own home where you can pause it if you need to go to the bathroom. Because this is a two hour and 45 minute film. And it feels it. It feels longer than that. Um, there's some subplots that you can cut out because they're, they're essentially pointless. They're just kind of there. And it's it just feels like it's contract <laughs> negotiation saying yeah I'll be in your film but you gotta put me in it for so long so it's just it was what it was and, and when we finally get to what I thought the movie was really about the Manson family and the murders it's gone it's gone this movie turned out to truly be about was about the dying days of the western it's about how this aging um, Western actor, played by DiCaprio, is dealing with what he feels is the end of his career. Does some spaghetti Westerns and comes home. And it, yeah, they could make a uh, sequel if you really wanted to. I don't see why, though. There's like no point. And the film just dragged on and dragged on and dragged on. Um, but if you are looking forward to seeing this film by Quentin Tarantino, I will tell you this is not his best work. Uh, I enjoyed Kill Bill uh, better. I enjoyed Pulp Fiction so much better. Not to mention Inglorious Bastards. And from what I've seen, though I have not seen it personally, Django Unchained is better, and um, I want to say he did The Hateful Eight, too, um, but I haven't seen that one. Um, but I've heard that those last two are much better than this. And there's rumors that he wants to do a Star Trek film, so maybe? Um, I, I, I like Star Trek, so... Perhaps that'll turn out to be just a little bit better than this one as well. Um, but I don't have that much more to say about it. The acting was solid. Uh, just the the plot seemed almost, I don't want to say paint by numbers, but, but kind of close. And it was uh, the acting that really held it together. So uh, with that being said, I do have to tell you... Um, this is absolutely hard R. There is blood, lots of blood, drug use, a lot of alcohol, a lot of cigarette smoking, and this is, of course, Quentin Tarantino. The F-bomb is dropped a lot. Like a lot. So, absolutely, I wouldn't take your kids to it under the age of uh, 18. This is hard R. This is Qu Tarantino at his... Uh, sweariest if that's really a word like think jackie brown and and things like that so 
Uh, with that being said, though, I will uh, wrap this up by saying uh, wait for home video. Watch it on digital. Watch it on DVD. That way you can enjoy yourself in the comfort of your own home. Um, but with that being said, uh, what is your absolute favorite Quentin Tarantino film? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, you can hit me up on social media to talk video games and movies and pop culture in general. And until next time. Have a great night.